Hey guys, it's Gaya. So I'm in the middle of God knows where. Kidding. I'm at the farm with my parents. We're spending the last days of 2020 here with nature, communing. So it's already December 30 and tomorrow is actually the last day of 2020. Wow, what a year. Some might say that it's a very very shitty year but some take the time to appreciate what happened during this year so that's what i want to do right now i want to make a year recap and i want to share and reflect on the good things that happened this year despite everything my mom always says that when you focus on the good more good will come to us do you believe in that <laughs> well i do so so this vlog is like a chica sesh with Gaya. I've got fruits and my coffee with me. This is actually the first time I'm doing a talking video. I'm gonna be talking the entire vlog. Oh, my fan just died. Sige lang. Let's start! January! On January, my grandfather turned 80 years old and my aunts and uncles from the States went back here to celebrate with us. We had a big celebration for my grandfather and my cousin, Angel. It was very fun. Okay, that's what happened during January. February. Is it February or February? February? February. February. I can't seem to pronounce it right. February. February. <laughs> I just say February. On February, I was still in school and we had our final defense for our thesis and we did a lot of school stuff. On March, we were supposed to go to Wonderland Festival in Manila. Artists that were supposed to be there were Ravina and Georgie. It was so sad. But still, we went to Manila and we partied a lot. And little did I know that was the last time I was gonna party for the rest of the year. So we were in Manila when we heard about the first few cases of COVID spreading around the Philippines. It was not very scary because we still partied. <laughs> there weren't really strict protocols at that time because it was just the beginning of the pandemic. In the plane, we didn't get swab tested, we didn't wear face shields, we just wore masks. We didn't know that the pandemic was very serious during that time on March. And looking back, we were this close to getting the virus. <laughs> it's not funny, but yeah, we were close. April! So when we got back home from Manila, we quarantined for like two weeks. And this was actually the time that ECQ in Davao City started. On April, I was supposed to march. On April was the time that I was supposed to graduate. But instead of having a graduation, the school said that it was gonna be moved on October. And now it's December, still nothing. Maybe next year, I hope. But yeah, I want to graduate still. Technically, I'm graduated, but yeah. So instead of having the ceremony, my parents bought me flowers and prepared some breakfast for me. So that was very sweet of them. I learned how to cook and I started gardening with my family. We started gardening in the empty lot in front of our house. And that was the time I started Gardening with Gaya, my first vlog. So if you haven't watched it yet, here or And because I was so bored at home, I changed the corner of my room from bags to plants. And during that time, I decided, what if I sell ornamental plants? Because it looked really nice in my room. Maybe some other people would want plants in their room. And we had some plants here at the farm. Thus, the birth of Pothos plants. I made an Instagram account and everything. You can check it out here. So the idea of Pothos plants actually came from just me arranging my room, changing the bags into plants, and 
seeing how nice it was. And then it was already May. One day, as we were heading home from the farm, we saw this field of sunflowers. And it was almost Mother's Day, so I had the idea of selling these beautiful sunflowers. A lot of people ordered the sunflowers and I was very happy because I had a lot of sales. But then tragedy struck when the night before I was supposed to deliver the sunflowers, it rained very hard. So the petals from the sunflowers um, shed. Basically, the sunflowers were dead and ugly because of the rain. And I was very upset and it wasn't because I lost sales but because I let a lot of people down. I mean, they were gonna give these flowers to their moms but then they couldn't give anything now because there weren't any flowers left. So yeah, that was the first time I had a real business challenge. So the only thing that was on my mind were plants, 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 plants. <laughs> I remember selling this type of plant. It's a Monstera Thai Constellation. I think I sold it for 2000 but now it sells for about 50000 or 60000 I don't even know. The prices were very cheap during the start of quarantine, but now they're like so expensive. I went to gardens by myself and propagated more plants. <laughs> I love plants, guys! I love plants! This was also the time the barter craze in Davao started. My mom was so into it. She bartered some of her plants for spam. And I bartered my plants for IKEA hangers and Cheetos and Ruffles. So one day while I was delivering a Monstera to a customer, I left it for a while in the car but it was very hot and the car didn't have any tint. And when I went back, the Monstera leaf was burnt and I was very sad because I was literally on my way to the customer but then that happened. So that was my second business failure. <laughs> I was very sad. So June, in my first course, entrepreneurship, I learned that we always have to innovate and think about the next big thing before it actually becomes the big thing so that we become first before somebody thinks about it. <laughs> So aside from selling plants, I had the idea of selling clay pots since nobody else was doing it in the city yet. So here's a picture of me with my first batch of Kothos pots. And during that month, there were also a lot of small businesses that opened. Even though there was a pandemic, I saw the resilience of Filipinos when they opened their small businesses. Friends baking cookies, cheesecakes, sushi bakes. And it was very fun because it was a community thing. Small businesses supporting small businesses. Yeah, I think that was one of the best things that happened during this year creating businesses and also having the opportunity to support other businesses. So when I opened Pothos Plants, there were a lot of other plant businesses that opened, which was fine because competition is natural in business. So I had to divert my attention and business somewhere else because innovation, right? I thought of selling vintage things that I found around the city like ceramic vases, plates, cups, trinket holders, and a lot of things. Thus, the birth of Pothos Vintage, the cousin of Pothos Plants and Pothos Pots. Pothos Vintage was actually very fun to do because during some days that I was free, I would go and look for the things that I would curate and then take photos of them with other brands. Like, I would take photos of the plates with desserts from other businesses or my trinkets with perfume with other businesses and flowers from other businesses, which was very fun because it was collaborative and it was bidding. There was a time where Vanya commented in one of the vases and somebody outbid her. 
So yeah, that was very memorable. Because most of my customers were from Manila, I had to ship these fragile items to Manila. And then days after they received them, they reported that the things were broken. And during that time, the video of JNT throwing packages circulated. And I was very sad because not only did I have to refund the customers 100%, but these beautiful trinkets and vases that I found around the city broke and they're no use to anyone anymore. So that was my third business challenge slash failure so in june i was going through something so i chopped my hair i told dash to cut my hair off and this was the first time in my entire life that i had my hair that short like it was like this it's kind of long now but that was the shortest i've ever gone in my entire life and i thought yolo since nobody's going out nobody can see me and if it doesn't turn out good it's fine because nobody can see me and i think i like my hair short now during this month my first batch of poto spots were ready and i released my trailer for the poto spots part two coming soon don't forget to like and subscribe